India and the world went through a horrifying phase during the COVID-19 pandemic. But there was one silver lining, the vaccination program. There is a new book which documents India's vaccination growth story. On this episode of Life in Science with Pallav Bagla, it's all about India's vaccine success story. My guest on this show is Dr. Sajjan Singh Yadav, a public health specialist, an Indian administrative services officer and an additional secretary in the Ministry of Finance and the author of this highly regarded book. A book which recounts the story from Tikadars to Vaccine Maitri. Dr. Yadav says, India pioneered vaccination more than 2,000 years ago. But Vaccine Maitri has given India a new place in the Committee of Nations because India shared the COVID-19 vaccine with more than a hundred countries of the world. This Amrit Kal is all about one earth, one family, one future. India leading the world through its vaccine yarn. Vasudev Kutumbukam at its very best. On this episode of Life and Science with Pallav Bagla, it's all about understanding vaccines, vaccine management, and more importantly, how India funded its massive vaccination effort. Thinking about the COVID-19 pandemic still gives everybody goosebumps. The world and India went through a very difficult phase. But there has been a silver lining. India became Atmanirbhar in many aspects of managing the COVID-19 pandemic. One big success story is India's delivery of over a 2 billion doses of the COVID-19 vaccines. This success story is very well documented in the book which my guest Dr. Sajjan Singh Yadav has written. Namaskar sir. Dr. Yadav is a public health and tropical medicine and also an additional secretary in the Ministry of Finance is right behind me. He has trained at the London School School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine. Dr. Yadav's book is all about India's vaccine story. Thanks a lot for joining us, Dr. Yadav. Your book is very readable and it gives the success story of India's vaccine self-sufficiency in a very big way. Did you ever imagine that the country would be in a position to deliver over 200 crores doses of the COVID-19 vaccine? Yes, yeah, definitely we had a very good infrastructure for the universal immunization program. We used to uh, vaccinate more than 3 crore children every year through that UIP program. We had very trained staff, vaccinators and the cold chain requirement and everything. Definitely that was there. But just to imagine that we would be able to vaccinate more than 200 crore people within a very short span of one and a half year was definitely very unimaginable at that time. And especially when there was lockdown, we were all kind of locked in and it was a very difficult time. 
at that time ramping up that infrastructure at such a quick pace. It's not about only vaccinating, it's about getting the required number of vaccine doses, setting up the cold chain, training people. So this was really an Herculean task and I'm so glad that we could achieve it and break the world record so many times. Absolutely. And also that we've been able to break the chain for the pandemic yes. is a remarkable achievement. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's only because of that we are now walking without masks, because of that only that we are, the life has come back to normal. Many sectors of economy which were devastated by the pandemic, now they are booming again. So, thanks to the vaccines. Yes, and we are standing yes. on Kartavya Path. Yeah. Very close to Vijay Chowk, ji. with your Ministry of Finance right behind me. Ji, ji, ji. So, did you look at this as your Kartavya to give India this vaccine platform and make sure that money is never in shortage? Yeah, definitely, the Ministry of Finance worked day and night. We were like foot soldiers. People remember the people in the field like doctors, nurses who fought very hard with the pandemic. But in the ministries also, people really worked hard, 24 by 7 they worked. We made sure that the payment system works. We made sure that the people, the vaccine producers and the doctors, they were paid, the salaries were paid, the hospital infrastructure was ramped up, the emergency response package was launched. So all this was done by Ministry of Finance and a lot of funds, I would say adequate funds were provided for every part of this campaign. Dr. Yadav is a polymath. A veterinary scientist, an IAS officer, and also the author of a very nice book, India's Vaccine Growth Story. Uh, Dr. Yadav, yes. what a beautiful book. Thank you. And, Thank and you. we are standing yeah. almost at Vijay Chowk, and this, this book recounts the story of India's Vijay against the COVID-19 yes. pandemic. Yeah. How did you manage to write a book even when you were handling such a difficult portfolio in the Ministry of Finance? No, it's not only about the handling portfolio, it's also about dedication to the cause that India needed at that time to tell the world how it has evolved as a superpower in vaccine production and how India not only helped uh, the countrymen but also the entire world almost more than 100 countries in starting their COVID-19 vaccine program. So it was really motivating and I thought that every person in the world should know about India's success story, India's emergence as a superpower in vaccine production. So I decided that let me tell the story to the world, not only story of India now, but starting from our Vedic times, how we, we kind of protected, we, our science protected people that time against smallpox and how we have replicated that against so many diseases. I will come to that bit on on how India was a pioneer in vaccination a little later. Uh, even as the Ministry of Finance yeah. was in lockdown, yes. and the country was in lockdown, and you were disbursing cash for India's vaccine program. Sir, Ji. Sir, kab kitab? when did you write it? <laughs> the, the, the Prime Minister was calling meetings all through the day. You had meetings all through the day. Yeah, yeah, how, yeah, yeah. How, you are a literary giant also. Thank you so much. No, definitely overnight, means I burned midnight oil literally to say that I, after the hard work during the day, I went home and then I closed myself in my study room and used to do research and then wrote this book. Now, in the book, there is a fascinating chapter, a fascinating uh, write-up. We will come to how India uh, came to vaccine Maitri and Vasudeva Kutumbakam. But before that, recount for us this narration of a story of what are called Tikadars. Because everybody thinks vaccination emerged in the Western world. You recount a story on how it probably was being conducted by Indians long before that. Tell me a little bit. Yeah, definitely. The world knows that vaccines were discovered in 1796 when the first vaccine was discovered against smallpox by Edward Jenner. But that's not true. In India, we knew about immunization, about vaccines 
मोर देन टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो सिंस थ्री हंड्रेड एट्टी बी सी बिफोर क्राइस्ट सो एट दैट टाइम स्मॉल पॉक्स वॉज वेरी मच रैम्पेंट एंड पीपल यूज टू डाई लॉट एंड गेट डिसफिगर्ड फ्रॉम स्मॉल पॉक्स एंड एट दैट टाइम वी हैड ए वेरी इनोवेटिव प्रैक्टिस विच वॉज कॉल्ड एज वेरियोलेशन एंड दैट वेरियोलेशन वॉज प्रैक्टाइज बाय आर टीका दास टीका दास एज यू नो टीका इन हिंदी मीन्स काइंड ऑफ इंजेक्शन और वैक्सीन सो वी हैड ए वेरी इनोवेटिव मैथड वी दे टीका दास दे यूज टू कलेक्ट पस फ्रॉम द पेशेंट्स ऑफ स्मॉल पॉक्स एंड दे वुड कलेक्ट इट एंड ड्राई इट फॉर ए ईयर वाई बिकॉज they wanted to weaken the virus that is the principle behind development of vaccines that you weaken the virus by different methods so artika das used to weaken the virus by drying it up for a year and the next year they would take that putli that bag of uh, containing this powder and will visit villages and where they will vaccinate people by making a cut in the arm putting that powder small amount of powder on a piece of cotton put some gangajal on it and then tie it on the hand of the person who is to be immunized so this was our practice long back and not only india then we taught this practice to almost entire world from here it went to china it went to europe it went to america even the royal children in united kingdom were vaccinated so our science was much ahead thousands of years ago than the western world The story of Tika Das is recounted on page six of this book, and this should be publicized. Let me now pass the book out and continue discussion. Uh, Dr. Yadav, you are at the helm of affairs in the government of India. This discussion and the fact that India's contribution on vaccines. is not given that uh, place in biology history does that hurt you it yeah, definitely it hurts because when you ask the question world over ki when vaccines were discovered where they were discovered people would immediately say edward jenner discovered vaccine and they don't know about the story of indian tikka das immunization in india centuries ago so definitely as a public health person public health specialist where are focus is on prevention of disease through vaccination the credit which has not gone to india for discovery of immunization that should rightfully go to india and i recall uh, when uh, the finance minister mr nirmala sitaraman released your book yes, yes, she yes. also mentioned this uh, fact about tikka das yes, yes. and 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 that that should now echo yes i would like i would personally like that the world should know the story of india's contribution to development of the science of immunization the science of vaccination which we started centuries back now let's let's shift our focus back to covid 19 uh, india had a program in which made in india stuff was given uh, we had two big vaccines covid shield and covaxin covaxin we'll talk about yeah. separately uh, but covid shield mm-hmm. how did the ministry of finance beat down the cost for covid shield because the company was asking for a very high rate so it must have fallen on your shoulders to try and make sure that they don't overcharge no definitely there was a group under dr paul which was doing the negotiations and there was there were long drawn negotiations definitely on the rate and we really got the vaccine at a very very low rate as you would know compared to so many moderna and pfizer and other vaccines and this was secondly it was because of the we introduced an element of competition in the market it was not a monopolistic market it was oligopolistic but there was definitely competition with coming in of covaxin so that definitely helped and the numbers also were on our side we had to give more than 200 crores or 2 billion doses so that also helped us and definitely the persistence the cajoling the bargaining power different methods were used to bring it down <laughs> certainly it was it was a fascinating uh, negotiation and you were 
you were doing it behind the scenes among all the uh, vaccine warriors or the COVID-19 warriors, you have always remained behind the scenes. And getting Covishield out in numbers like it did, it really showed to the world in a way that India is a vaccine superpower. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. We used to produce a large quantity of vaccines and for the information of the people watching us, India meets 62% of the total supply of vaccines. But most of the people were not aware of such a large feat which India has achieved. And COVID-19 definitely helped us re-establish our supremacy in the field of pharmaceuticals, especially biologicals vaccines. So, the kind of numbers which we have produced and even supplied to the world and taken care of a huge population, that was unimaginable, but we could do it. Now, let's talk a little bit and I want you to wear your hat of a, a, a biologist, a veterinary scientist and let us talk about Covaxin. And, and Covaxin has been developed by Bharat Biotech and, and the person who's developed uh, alongside with ICMR is also a person from your similar field. Uh, how, how did uh, the country figure out that we needed not just a made in India vaccine, but also something which was done full R&D and we had full IPR control in India about Covaxin? Yes, Covaxin was definitely a big leap forward because people knew India as a producer of low-cost vaccines. But through Covaxin, we established that India's research in the field of medical sciences is much ahead of so many other countries. And so, India when developed Covaxin, it was one of the few nations who had their own vaccine. And it is a killed virus vaccine. The virus was isolated by ICMR and then it was... Uh, with the in partnership with Bharat Biotech, we developed a vaccine. The development of co-vaccine has shown to the world that India's research and development in the field of medical science, in the field of vaccine development has come in a big way and that kind of raised our stature in the market that we are also a big researcher in the field of vaccines. And definitely it gives, gave us our own vaccine, Atma Nirbhar Bharat, the Prime Minister's vision of making India self-sufficient. So that was lived up to the expectation by the ICMR and Bharat Biotech and we had our own India-made, India-produced vaccine. Not only did India give vaccine doses to Indians over 2 billion doses, but India also gave vaccines to the world. So, saving India, saving the world, essentially, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Uh, Dr. Yadav, how many countries did we give our COVID-19 vaccines as part of Vaccine Maitri? When the vaccine stocks arrived, so we started with our neighbors first because we are a very good neighbor and our first duty is towards our neighbors. So, we supplied vaccines to our neighboring countries. I am very happy to tell you that so far we have supplied COVID vaccines to more than 100 countries and more than 20 crore doses of vaccine have been supplied to these nations. So many countries were able to start their vaccination drive only because India gave them vaccines in the spirit of Vasudev, Vasudev Kutumbakam. No, because I distinctly remember having reported the COVID-19 pandemic, some of our most developed countries were holding the vaccines yes. when India was opening its heart out to yes. other countries. Yes. So, again, let me ask you, we were giving doses to our own people and at the same time making sure that other countries benefit. Isn't that very large-hearted on part of a, a developing country like India? Yes, definitely. It is really a statesmanship of our Honorable Prime Minister and it is within in our culture to treat the entire world as one family. So, we are definitely very large-hearted. So, we said that no, not only Indian people, but people across the world should get equitable access to vaccines. And as a result of this, the India's standing in the world has definitely gone up. Now, there are reports that people, the warmth of people towards India 
has gone up very high and even our ambassadors are telling that people are so thankful and the entire world leaders were so thankful to India. The Brazilian Prime Minister called it Sanjeevni Bhuti. Sanjeevni Bhuti, I remember. All the heads of the states, they received our vaccines at the airport and they tweeted so well about India and what India is doing. And as a result of this, you will see that whenever now uh, talk of vaccine comes or vaccine production in collaboration comes, it is all they talk about India. Now, on COVID-19, we had Covishield, we had Covaxin and we had several other candidates, including a world's first DNA vaccine. But the talk of the town today is a vaccine which is delivered through the nose, the nasal vaccine. Tell me a little bit about this uh, innovative development which has come from Bharat Biotech. And nasal vaccine is really a path-breaking initiative, innovation I would say. It makes administration of vaccine so easy. You don't need a needle, you don't need a syringe, you don't need a health worker. Just you have to put a few drops of vaccine in your nose. So is that a game changer in vaccination for the world? Definitely, it, it would be a game changer as I would say that you can vaccinate yourself sitting at home, just buy a vial of vaccine and put in the nose of every person in the house and you could do it at the frequency which is desired. Going to hospital, some people are afraid of the needle, some people don't want to go out in that crowd. So that all that hesitancy is gone by this. And then there is more research on better methods of administration, not only nasal but oral, also micro needles, skin patches. So there is a lot of research going on on new methods of administration of vaccine and nasal vaccine is one big step in that direction. Now, let me shift gear a little bit away from COVID-19 and bring it to the larger picture of India's science and technology. Uh, we saw during COVID-19 pandemic, and I am a firm believer that we came out of the pandemic essentially because of our inherent core strength in science and technology. Uh, you are in the Department of Expenditure as an additional secretary in the Ministry of Finance. Did you get enough return on investment when you put in over 40,000 crores on vaccination? The return on vaccine, vaccination in economic terms, it is really very high. It, when you say revenue expenditure, return is one. When you say capital expenditure, return on investment is two to three times. But when it is in vaccine, it is hundreds of times of the money spent. So, only because of those 40,000 crores which we have spent, now life is back to normal in India and in many other countries. The economy is back on track. We are, again, our industry is booming. The investment is coming to India. The tourism sector is again on the rise and the GDP growth is really fast. So, we have come out of the pandemic only because of the vaccination and thus this 40,000 crore was worth investing. It has brought back lakhs of crore to us. Now, on that point, let me also ask you, China is still struggling with the COVID-19 pandemic and they have a zero COVID policy. Uh, what has gone wrong in China, in your understanding, as a public health person? No, there are so many factors which I would not like to go into, but definitely the efficacy of Chinese vaccine. The research has shown that the efficacy was as low as 50%. That means the vaccine is bound to fail in 50% of the people. So, the kind of immunity which was required against the COVID-19, kind of immunity was required to reduce mutation of the virus. In my opinion, that immunity hasn't come because of the quality of vaccines and it is a proven fact in the literature that both Sinovac and Sinchine, the efficacy of vaccine was low. So India made a great choice in using Covaxin and Covishield. Yeah, definitely. The efficacy of our, both the vaccines is very high. The cold chain requirement is very minimal. So our vaccine is much better. So 
there are so many countries who initially went for chinese vaccine but very soon realized that indian vaccine is much better and then they shifted to indian co vaccine and covishield now let me come back to the point on return on investment like you said vaccination gave you or india so much more return on investment why are we still spending only 0.7% of our gdp on science and technology why shouldn't we increase it to 2 or 3 or 4% like see south korea is doing so well because of its investment in r&d so is uh, usa and europe why can't we also increase it no definitely the increase in investment in science and technology is a very high in the priority that's why we allocated 39000 crores for vaccination we allocated 900 crore for that mission covid suraksha yeah. and in the all other scientific ministries also the budget is regularly going up and up but definitely there are competing demands there are also demand from health sector that 5% of gdp or should go to health sector there is demand from education there is demand from welfare there is demand from defense so honorable finance minister has a very hard task at her hand to how to kind of take care of all these competing demands and national priorities so definitely the investment will go up in the time to come and it's not only government spending it should be from the private sector the investment in research and development for new and new vaccines that should come from private sector as well and right till now we are more focused on kind of quantity of vaccines we produce 62% of world's vaccine supplies now it's time to go for quality by ppp mode by private investment attracting and definitely public sector spending on science and technology should definitely go up now in vaccination which what is the horizon looking like to you will india become the super power and will india's vaccine yarn take off or lift off and be the big supplier for vaccines for the world yes i would say that we are in amrit kal and the country is making tremendous progress in all the sectors and the pharmaceuticals and biologicals is the right kind of sector where we can give a big boost and a big push because we have demonstrated our quality in production of vaccines and pharmaceuticals we have demonstrated our research and development capacity we have demonstrated our production capacity we are bringing new and new vaccines we are bringing new and new methods of administration of vaccines so right now we are kind of at a very we are at a springboard to launch into the next phase of vaccine where we will focus on from quantity to quality and from helping the entire world against so many other infectious diseases which kill crores of children and also adult vaccines which kind of cause morbidity mortality and reduction in quality of life to elderly are you satisfied with how you dealt with the covid-19 pandemic and i am asking this question personally to dr sajjan singh yadav through 3 years are you now satisfied with the kind of work you gave to india yes definitely i say with great sense of satisfaction that uh, i have personally and the entire machinery in the government and people of india they have worked really hard we have worked hard and so did the doctors nurses paramedical staff entrepreneurs scientists so at the end now at the verge of kind of seeing the back of the pandemic and all that could happen because of team india under the dynamic leadership of our honorable prime minister and the kind of spirit he has risen for atmanirbhar bharat for vasudev kutumbakam for sarve bhavantu sukhina for making india a world leader and now you will see in g20 that we india is emerging as a global leader that thanks to a joint effort of team india and i'm very happy with that thanks a lot for speaking to us dr yadav always a delight to learn from you not just about public health but how to manage the purse strings and make sure that india gets the biggest bang for the buck so that was dr sajjan singh yadav a public health specialist and a person who was at the helm and one of the boys who handled from behind the scenes the covid-19 pandemic
India not only delivered over 2 billion doses of vaccines to its own citizens, but over 100 countries benefited by India supplying COVID-19 vaccine doses. Thanks to Team India and thanks to the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who ensured that India saw the back of the COVID-19 pandemic faster than what was expected. Team India delivering in a very big way. Keep watching India Science.